We're here at Quakadola. That, that means fishing place, fishing place for mullet. Old people used to come here to collect the shellfish, to collect the, the limpets, the mussels, the abalone, the pippies. And this is where they would collect all the food to have it, a good feed. If you walk along the coast, you can see the middens. You can see the results of that, where our old people sat down, built a fire, cooked the shellfish, and ate it all. And from those middens, we can learn so much about how our old people lived, what they ate, what time of the year they came here, what other resources they they harvested such as birds, animals, plants. So it's an important place for us because we can learn so much about our old people. Quackadula. This place made a worry. This place of the mustard. It's called Lake Mudawari today. There's no water in it today because all the farming practices, all the farms that dammed the creeks that feed the lake and stopped the water from flowing. But before settlement, before white fellas came here, this place was full of musk ducks. And you could come here and you could get a feed, plenty of meat, plenty of eggs, plenty of feathers to trade. But it was also a place where there's plenty of eels. So once a year, Wadarung Balak and Garachil Balak people would come here and they would catch eels, smoke them and trade the smoked eels with the neighbours. And those eels would be traded across to the Ballerine, across to the Moorable Hills, and down, down as far as uh, Quakadola, down past Anglesey. It was, it was good industry, but there's no water there today. By the way. We're here on Bongera Menon and we have a view of Bonanyuang and Deranullam. Bonanyuang is known as Mount Bonanyong and it means a man lying on his back with his knees raised. Deranullam is now called Mount Elephant. Deranullam actually means place of the sea terns, which are like swallows. Now, the story is told by the old people is that Bunanyong and Terranullam argued, challenged each other to a fight and uh, they came together to fight at a place called Pitfield. Terranullam had a spear, Bunanyong had an axe and as they fought Terranullam pierced Bunanyong's side with a spear. Bunanyong hit Terranullam on the head and split his head with his axe. They were so angry that they spat fire at each other. But they were also hurt, so they retired back to their campsites to rest. And they turned to stone. And you can still see them today. If you look at Bunanyong, you can see where Terranullam's spear pierced his side. If you look at Terranullam, you can see where Bunanyong's axe split his head open.